surprised um, many by actually being that well in contention now, uh, being in the playoffs even against Bosnia and Herzegovina, given that uh, they had a little bit of a meltdown uh, in the previous qualification phase after qualifying for Euro 2012. Everyone thought the rebuilding might take a little bit longer, but then in a very tough group uh, with Poland and Germany and Scotland, they actually managed to be in contention for a direct qualification uh, spot right up until the last day and will be a team to watch um, and probably are even have a good chance of qualifying in the playoffs against Bosnia Herzegovina, a team that has been struggling. So before we look at the jersey, I uh, just want to show here the kind of newish Ireland uh, crest, uh, which will play a part in my rating later on. Um, I think it looks nice and modern, but I still have some trouble with what this ball is. I know I see here a clover, I see the ball, but it's a little bit too much. I think I like just a simple clover would do enough. Uh, to say this is an Irish team, although I do like the outline. I think it gives it a nice spin and also the writing here is nice, but I think this ball here is a little bit overdone. So let's go right to the jersey, which is produced by Umbro, and what can I say, it's a pretty much a perfect jersey. Uh, I'm ignoring here the sponsor because this is only for the replica jerseys uh, that I can find pictures of. Uh, the match jerseys, of course, uh, feature here the regular number so it's a kind of a placeholder uh, fancy number numbering looks much different here um, and other than that it's a nice green jersey as we would expect from an irish team uh, with a really nice um, fashionable uh, color in white on top uh, reminds me a little bit about the uh, current French home jersey with also in a plain color and then has this uh, white color on top um, here with deep cutout looks really great we have a uh, vertically shadow striping gives a little bit more structure but doesn't really uh, bother me that much at all uh, because it's all over and doesn't change much and also gives it a slightly um, classy feel in a looks more like a polo shirt than a soccer jersey. We have the Umbro logo as one uh, type here and then the Ireland logo, a little bit false colored. Uh, we have we have green and white exchanged, which makes it even look a little bit more odd. And of course, then the front number would be centered instead of the three of the sponsor. Um, you'll see just it's a much more classy looking numbering scheme, a very uh, thin sans serif number. Uh, also the fonts very very uh, simple uh, here we have it's kind of the background we see in the four uh, that's kind of placed nicely so back is uh, simple as well uh, everything looks fine maybe it could be a little bit of a bolder font but I think the font fits with this classic jersey so um, my rating overall I like this jersey a lot I mean this is almost next to perfect. There's just one aspect I don't like, and that's what precludes me from giving a full rating. That is this crest. If there would be a white clover on this jersey, this would be a perfect 10 for the crest. And it's a contentious choice, and I have been thinking long about it, but I only give it a 9 star rating, although otherwise this jersey is absolutely fine, perfect, great Irish jersey. Let me know what you think. Should Ireland get a different uh, crest? Should they just have the clover or anything else? I'll be curious to hear from you. Until then, bye.